156,956 miles on the clock. Customer complaint. A loud humming noise coming from the right rear wheel. Hello again guys, welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today we're going to be replacing the rear wheel bearing or hub assembly on a 2011 Toyota Highlander. Uh, I've already jacked the vehicle up. I've pulled the uh, axle nut off, special socket for that. Do that before you lift the vehicle up. I had to lift it up, take the wheel off, take the center cap out. Go put the wheel back on, go in through the center cap, take the nut off. Now I've got the vehicle jacked back up, taking the wheel back off again. Let's get the caliper and bracket assembly off the vehicle. 17 millimeter. We're going to leave the bracket and the caliper together. There's just no easy way to get at this one. <laughs> wow. Let's get these lined up. Let's see what size those are in there. Probably 17s. Yep, they're 17s. Let's get all of those cracked loose. Oh, 
Oh, that wasn't all that super tight. Notice these holes are actually lined up in such a way. Wow. Well, maybe I need to put this thing in neutral. There we go. It'll line all four holes up with all four bolts. You know, while I'm doing this, I'm also running a code scan on the vehicle. Make sure there any, aren't any other little issues going on. Those are the only issues that I see. Alright. All those bolts cracked loose. Gunnels the rest of the way out. Or maybe not. <laughs> well, that one doesn't want to go so easy. That come out right nice and easy. Second bolt. Let's get the bottom two removed. Wow. Check on the ABS sensor, see where that's located. So we can make sure we don't do any damage to it removing the hub. Wow. Squeaky, squeaky, rusty, rusty. bolt not happy threads That bolt rest of the way out. Now being that it's physically impossible for me to get the tripod in here, there's our uh well if I can do this with the light. There's our ABS sensor. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. We're gonna have to take that out and just move the uh ABS sensor out of the hole slightly. Yeah, a little bit of tapping and banging, we got some things loose. And take your hub assembly out. Oh, hear that?
And we'll put the grab the new hub assembly. Brand new bearing assembly. See how it's unevenly shaped. It only fits in one one way. So, let's go ahead and this position where it should be. Start sliding this in. Probably, actually, let's do that. Clean these threads up right here. These splines make it a little easier to slide it all together. All right. The spline's cleaned up. And we've got it to the point where we can slide the hub on and off the shaft without a problem. Put your backing plate back up in place. Now what I'm going to do for now is nothing. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and put your backing plate back up in place. Take your bearing assembly, make sure you've got the orientation correct. Slide that in place. Grab a hold of one of your bolts. The top bolt in this case. Uh, let's see. Socket. Let's try to get this lined up first. Maybe. Alright. That lined up just like that. That way there. Oh, the bigger holes are in the wider holes are on the top. This way. And then we can go ahead and start sliding this all back together again. Take the top bolt, put the top bolt in. Maybe. <laughs> We're going to have to rotate this whole assembly around. Right. Not being very cooperative with me at the moment. Alright, one bolt through. position but not in another. Probably all because of the axle not wanting to go Get all the other bolts started. We'll go ahead and spin all the lows in. Axle nut on. Not even all the way, just to the edge. Now go ahead and snug down all your 17 millimeter bolts, and then we're going to torque them to 55 foot pounds.
55 foot pounds. Put your rotor back on. And try to put it in the same way we took it off. And go ahead and pull your caliper bracket down. Remove the hook. Put your caliper bracket in place. Spread the brake pads back out. Oops. Knock the brake pad out of place. That's not too cool. There we go. Put your two 17 millimeter bolts back in. The top one started first. Once that started, then you can get the bottom one. Those are torqued down good. I uh, can't get at it because of the uh, bleeder. I'll go ahead and put the tire back on temporarily so that we can get the axle nut tight. That's 217 foot pounds.
adjust. Until we get that axle not tightened up. Should reuse a new nut, but I don't send you a new nut. I'm going to buy a new nut. The old nut will do just fine. Work it the same way. I don't think you really need to be anal retentive about the axle nut. As long as you're careful about torquing it. vehicle down onto the, the wheel. And go ahead and torque that to 217 foot pounds. 60, 70, huh. you know, I'll go up to 150 foot pounds. So, we'll use the uh, body weight torque. <clears throat> 217 foot pounds. This is a two foot breaker bar. If I weigh 150 and I stand on the tip, that's 300. So about there, it's gonna be 217. Right there. And well, I'd say that's damn close to 217. Now go ahead and put all the lug nuts back in. Call the customer back up. Tell him he can come get his car. And then we'll figure out what to do about the strip lug nut that he put on it. Four torque down. And then a little sensor cap. We need to peen that nut first, so we gotta take the wheel back off to peen the nut. the nut. Close right in on that a little bit for you. can't back itself off. Now we can go ahead and put the wheel back on, torque it down, and get it off the jack stands. Very easy wheel bearing to do. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes. You gotta be somewhat careful of the... You know, gotta jack the vehicle back up a little bit more first. Okay, go ahead and lower it back down. 
lug nuts. Not particularly happy with this lug nut that he's got here, but oh, I know why, because it doesn't fit all the way on. That's why it's stripping. Okay. I'm going to have to let him know about that. Okay, let's go ahead and put the vehicle down, put our little center cap back in. Wheel. We'll just go see the US up here. Quick and easy, rear wheel bearing on your Toyota Highlander. It's just a bolt-in hub style, very easy to change. If you like this one, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notifications bell for upcoming videos. And don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches.